Since the Industrial Revolution, we humans have burned fossil fuels such as coal, oil, and natural gas for energy. However, they release a significant amount of carbon dioxide gas into the atmosphere, which contributes to climate change. We are starting to see the effects of climate change from the melting ice caps and more intense droughts and storms. We need to do something right now. Many say we need to stop burning fossil fuels and switch to renewables. But even if we could stop all human carbon dioxide emissions today, the risk from climate change will still persist for thousands of years. So, why don't we just pull the carbon dioxide out of the air? This idea is not a new one. Actually, there are companies out there that are building machines to capture carbon dioxide from the atmosphere right now. We call this technology direct air capture. The first example of such company is Climbworks. This company makes chemical filters that capture carbon dioxide. When air is blown into the machine, carbon dioxide becomes attached to the filter. When the filter becomes saturated, it is heated to 100 degrees Celsius so the carbon dioxide is released and collected. The captured carbon dioxide can then be buried underground, sold to other companies, turned into oil from vehicles, or pumped into greenhouses to boost plant growth. The company sells these carbon dioxide collectors from small individual units up to large-scale units. The second example is carbon engineering. This company uses more traditional methods. Their system uses a hydroxide solution and other chemicals to capture carbon dioxide and then convert it into solid calcium carbonate pellets. They are then heated until they release carbon dioxide gas, but this time, it is just pure carbon dioxide. The company then transformed the gas into low carbon fuel to be sold back to the market. So, if governments invest in these companies, we could see a rapid growth of these carbon capture technology. Direct air capture system would become a worldwide phenomenon, and with enough of them, we can start to make a significant dent on the global carbon emissions and then start to reverse climate change. The world economy can definitely handle such a few. It is only a matter of investment and producing these machines. This technology has incredible potential. First, direct air capture can be installed anywhere. So, even individuals and small organizations can help out by buying an air capture device and install it on their roof. It can also be built on inhospitable lands that are otherwise unsuitable for human use. Second, direct air capture helps us transition from a fossil fuel-based society to a carbon-neutral society. If we use the fuels produced by direct air capture plants instead of conventional oil and natural gas, we can stop releasing new carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. So, in the grand scheme, less carbon dioxide is emitted. Third, the technology is already here. As it in climb works and carbon engineering, these carbon capture systems are technologically feasible today. If we just invest money and effort, these devices can be built and in operation. However, direct air capture has their challenges too. First, direct air capture systems are expensive. They are large-scale infrastructure projects that require a lot of design, equipment, machinery, money, and international collaboration. Second, if there are millions of direct air capture devices up and running, there might not be enough places to store the carbon dioxide. The gas stored underground might even leak and contaminate the groundwater. Third, direct air capture might use too much energy. These systems might be using energy from non-sustainable sources. The concern is that the amount of carbon dioxide produced by those conventional power plants might be higher than the amount the devices can capture. Even though direct air capture technology seems very promising, they cannot be the final solution to our climate change problem. Direct air capture is still too expensive. The logistical aspect is challenging and there is so much air to purify. In the end, the only sure way to remove carbon dioxide from the air is not to release it in the first place.